Good afternoon, good morning. Whenever you're getting this, it's Managing Editor Rob here, and uh, we're just another episode of Monday's edition of Behind the Mirror, I believe it's the third episode that uh, we've done here, and it's just a bit of a look behind the scenes at what we do at a newspaper working daily each day that's sometimes not related to the physical product or the website. And today, uh, we're judging, not today, so we've already long judged and sent them in, our um, award for uh, Ontario's Reporter of the Year. There's 15 candidates this year vying for Reporter of the Year, and uh, this office is judging it. Um, did a couple rounds a couple weeks ago, a couple rounds about a week ago, and narrowed it down, but it's very tight in Ontario. There's uh, only four points in the matrix that separate the first place from eighth place and there's only 10 points between the entire 15 reporters um, the first place winner picked up a 41 out of 45 as we put them through the matrix very very tight between the top three uh, fantastic uh, work from some reporters doing investigative and more types of reporting in Ontario this year so that's what they do around this time of year prior to Christmas they uh, send out awards to other provinces for editors and others to judge. Ontario Reporter of the Year has been judged. Congratulations to the big winners that will be announced, I'm sure, later this year in Ontario. But this is another episode of Behind the Mirror. We judge the reporters from everything from writing style to writing quality to photography support to community involvement to community relevance as it relates to the stories. All these then get put into a matrix and a scorecard, and away we go. Two minutes behind the mirror. Have a good one.